Hey guys, Lou here from databear.com. Welcome. This week we'll be looking at the DAX bare necessities, or should I rather say the DAX data bare necessities. We are looking at sum, sum x and calculate today, and uh, there'll be lots more to come. So please click that subscribe button below so that you will get the new DAX videos on a weekly basis. So do that right now. Let's jump right in. So this week, looking at sum, sum x and calculate. Let's start with sum. So most of you know what sum is. And um, if you've ever used Excel or some other software programs, sum comes quite naturally. We understand what that does. It adds up all the values in a column. So let's create a new measure now to see how this particular function operates. So let's call this, I just call it sum, and we'll just do the sum of a column in the sales table. And um, I think let's do the total sales. Okay, so sum is going to do is to look at the sales table, the total sales column, and sum all the values together to give us a value. We press enter, and we bring it onto the canvas. Let's change this to a table. Okay, so that gives us a total sales amount. Let me just format this. Let's change it to a currency. British pound and let's bring in the item names so these are the items that were sold let's make it bigger and just increase the font slightly fantastic so what some does it does exactly what we expect it to do. It will sum the values for each item name in the table together and return us a value. At the bottom, we have a grand total, and this is the total for all the values of all the item names. So let's make a copy of this table, and we'll put it next to it, and let's remove the sum. So let's create another measure now for sum x. So we click on new measure. And this one we'll just call sum x. So the difference between sum and sum x, if I type the DAX expression, I mean the function, you will see that sum x, you need to provide the table name and comma the expression so sum x returns the sum of an expression evaluated for each row in the table in other words if i choose the sales table and in my sales table i've got two values i've got a quantity so that's the quantity of the uh, product that was sold and let's multiply that by whoops uh, wrong value let's multiply that by the unit I think it's called the unit price so that's the price for one unit let's close it and let's format it again to British pound Um, let's move it to our sales measures. Great. So we put it onto the canvas and immediately we'll see it does exactly the same thing. So the difference here is that sum x goes to the table. If we go to the sales table, if we just uh, go slightly into the table, Where's our values? Okay. So it goes to each row in the table 
and it says multiply the quantity by the uh, by the unit price and then give us the total sales amount so it does that iteratively for each row in the table and once it reaches the bottom it does a sum it adds up all those values together whereas um, whereas sum just basically multiplies uh, the two values together so a good example of this would be uh, of sum would be uh, 10 times 10 and a good example of sum x would be 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 so 10 times um, ultimately they get to the same amount but that's the difference in how these two functions calculate so because of that uh, sum x is not as efficient as sum but it definitely gives you the ability to do a little bit more depending on your situation so again if we go back to the canvas if you are new to uh, to DAX this sum x calculation as well as the sum calculation I can use in other DAX uh, calculations so you can use one measure in another measure and we'll do that now when we get to calculate so let's let's create a new measure and we'll call it calculate so the calculate function starts as you'd expect with calculate and it gives us the uh, the formula here so it says calculate it wants the expression comma filter comma and those three the, the the ellipsis there indicates more filters so filter two filter three etc so here in the expression you can do one of two things best practice if you wanted to do a sum of the sales and then apply a filter context you will be able to use either an existing measure so here's the sum and sum x measures we've just created so you can use those if you want to alternatively you need to first say the sum and then uh, the table sales and uh, total sales so you could do that best practice would be uh, for, for DAX in particular would be to build on top of the previous measures that you've created so in this case I'm going to just use the the sum measure I've already created but I'm going to apply a filter context so let's say for example um, <clears throat> I want a table like this but I don't want to see the values for all um, items I want to filter this by a customer name okay so let's close this so we can just get a, uh, the, a list of the customer names these are customers great so now we can see which customer names there are so if we go back to our calculate function we are going to filter it now so we are going to say um, customer 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 name where it equals let's see ACME plumbing great and let's press enter so I'm going to create another table here and uh, let's just remove the sumx and then add our calculator in there so what this does now uh, let's just format our calculator to show British pound great so what you see now is a much shorter list of item names but the reason for that is the filter context we've applied to this calculation so that what this does it sums all the values of all products by it filters it to the customer ACME plumbing only so a, another thing we can do here is if we create a new measure 
and let's call it ACME plumbing. And we do another calculate. Oops. To be careful now, because I've also named the the uh, previous measure calculate, and then do um, the sum. And we're going to say customer customer name equals ACME plumbing. Okay, uh, let's just move it to your sales measures. Great, so I'm going to throw that on our canvas. And again, I'm going to choose the product or item name as my row values. So see what's happening here now. So we've got, um, let me just change that to, to British pound. So we've got a um, item name and it shows us all the sales for ACME plumbing. If we now do this for another customer, let's see who we can use. Uh, custom comfort. So the, the other interesting thing you can do is you could copy this formula from the ACME plumbing, uh, paste it, and you just change the name custom comfort. And we change the name of the folder context and we press enter. Let's change it to British pound and let's put it into our table. Wow, so let's see what's happening here. So immediately we can see the sales for both companies, ACME Plumbing and Custom Comfort. Uh, for those item names, respectively. So, um, already you can see the value in, in, in Calculate. And Calculate does get a lot more complex. So, you have to stay tuned in our future DAX videos. You can see how Calculate can be used in simple or very complex ways. It is a process. It's a, it's a journey. It's not a destination. So stick with us and we will teach you and show you how these um, calculations work. So I think that's it for this week. Uh, thank you for joining us. Please remember to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Visit databear.com to find out more about how we can turn your reporting dreams into a reality. Your data, our story.